Hey there guys, today I want to talk about the air horn that I made out of PVC and an oil funnel. Well two things led to this discovery that I could make an air horn out of PVC. One was the boat was getting closer and closer to being ready to motor around and I had to be Coast Guard compliant which means I need a sounding device. Now originally there was an air horn on this boat. You can see the compressor stuffed in there somewhere. There it is. And the air hose here led to two trumpets on the side of the upper cabin. Right there. But when I pressed the horn button, I heard the compressor. But there really wasn't any uh, tooting coming out. But there was some air coming out of the hose from the compressor. Well, I assumed that these old horns weren't any good. So uh, I decided I was going to make my own. So off I went to the parts store because I had looked online and found that new trumpets were at least 60 bucks just for the trumpets, maybe 100 for the whole setup. And I had discovered a way that you could do them on the cheap. So in the plumbing section of Lowe's, I found a one inch by half inch T and a one inch plug. And a one inch to half inch bushing or reducer. And I also picked up an oil funnel. Total cost, not so bad. So I took my bounty from Lowe's back home where I would assemble it. Here you can see the bushing. Inside there, there is a, you can see that highlighted area right there. That's a ridge that prevents PVC from passing that point. You can either cut that off with a hacksaw or you can do like I did and use a Dremel so that your half inch pipe will slide all the way through the bushing. And that's all the modifications you really need to do to this PVC air horn. Now the way it works is the plug goes in this end, the bushing in the other, and the pipe that comes through is going to rest right there on a piece of plastic. And that piece of plastic is going to be the diaphragm of the air horn. Now in order to hold that plastic there, you just wrap it around the plug and push the plug into the T and that'll make that diaphragm nice and tight. And that's it. You can see it in there, tight as a drum. Now you put the bushing in the other end and carefully push the pipe through until it rests up against that diaphragm. And then I came back to the boat to test the horn. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting a little more than that. Perhaps the trumpet would help. <coughs> Not so much. Interesting. Well, I started to wonder whether or not that small compressor was actually any good. So I headed back home to try the new horn on my giant compressor. Oh my 
god. I was starting to wonder if that compressor on the boat was actually the problem. And I was wondering if since the last adjustment on my PVC horn, whether my lungs would actually work it now. Well, I went ahead and I bought a new compressor. And these old trumpets are working like a charm 100%. So there's no reason to replace them. But now I have a way of saying farewell to the sun. <laughs>